lie so long, it's hard for you to accept the truth, right? Yeah. Then when you hear the truth, right, you wanna you wanna um rebel against it, right? And now you wanna fight the messengers that gave you the truth. Real shit, man. <laughs> Real shit. Man. The truth is a bully. People pretend to like. In America, lazy man. Pretty soon you ain't gonna go leave the house for nothing. For nothing. Okay. And look how they doing right now. People are sick with the corona, right? Or if you expect you got coronavirus, no, they tell you stay home. The fuck? How you gonna know? <laughs> stay home. Right. Where you gonna see the doctor? Wow. But you're right though. It's making America lazy though. Making America lazy, man. Yo. Even these games too with the, the games, you got the games and all that, man. You know what I mean? Make America lazy. Knowledge. Listen, man. The other countries, right, that we was at war with. Listen, they didn't forget that. You know what I mean? They getting us back through education and through the technology process, right? And they using their technology that they created to their advantage by making us complacent and lazy. Now look at China, right? Over in China. Wow, they don't even use money. You hear me? They got something where everything's face recognition. You know what I'm saying? And they light years ahead of us. You know what I'm saying? They don't even have people in the car driving anymore. The car drive by themselves. You're right, though. You know what I mean? You're right. Boom. Even and delivery stuff. like. You, yep, yep. But guess what, though? The whole country wake up at 6 o'clock. You hear me? Everybody got to seek an education. It's no laying around or nothing like that. You seek education to the, to the death. Yo, it's deep. Look where we at war with, with Afghanistan, right? right? You know what I mean? Afghanistan is one of the 90% producer of, of, of the poppy seeds or opiates and all that, right? Now, we at a great debt with China, right? Boom. China is one of the largest, the country with the largest population, right, that loves the opium, right? So now, guess what? We get the money back. Do that. That's why we never left Afghanistan because we control the poppy fields so they can feed the Asians that stuff. You hear me? And everywhere America go, they never leave. Well, you know that we've been at war and never left. And they don't even talk about the war in Afghanistan. You right? You hear me? But you we right. still there. You right? You hear me? You and right. none of the fields been touched. Right, man. He made it. Damn. Yup. Yeah. You know what's thinking of uh, the pharmaceutical companies, man? They created, they created this disease, right? Now they're gonna need a, medi a medication, a medication back to combat it. Pharmaceutical companies back in business. <laughs> oil no more. You know it's the oil no more. Hear me? It's done. Hear me? Because if you don't have the antidote, it's over. So we create a major crisis, right? They can say now we need something quick to combat it, right? Uh, we we'll have. Something to combat it in the next year or so, just that the other whole time. They already got it. And they, they just waiting for the time to release it. Pharmaceutical companies way back in business again. In America. They over here to make their money, right? Boom. But now, you know what I mean? On their passport, you know what it says? I'm ready for a They only really can say that's for peace. We are ready for a case. Come over here. Look where they put them at. In our neighborhood. Smack in her face. They say we over again. You know I mean? We pick the cotton again. You know what I'm saying? Taking her money, give it to them, so they can take it over to their country, their families, to feed their families. While our communities is the, is slow, is the capitalism. You know what I mean? It's slowly but should say the business in your neighborhood, right? It's mm -hmm. there, right? All right. Even the Chinese. Right? Nowhere, even the Chinese, and even the Indians. Nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Gas stations, you help, you know. But guess what? There's nothing being said about it, right? Because it's a slap against us. But if you was in, it was a good and that happened. It called discrimination. Hey, how you doing, everyone? I'm Lil Bits. I just going to give you a little info, like, you know, how I came up. I came up, you know, um, I had two parent household. I was fortunate the most because I was raised by both parents. Some people don't get raised by both parents. It ain't what you do is how you do it. But you know, when, when you're coming up and you have kids, you take care of kids, home, house first. Right. Your extracurricular activities can come later. Wait till the kids go to sleep to do whatever you gotta do. 
that way they don't, they not implicated on anything. Mm -hmm. You know, shield them, protect them. Mm -hmm. Cause you are a protector of your, your kids. And show them that it's more to just street. You know, give them knowledge. You know, take them to the um um to the like the library. You know, show them you know take show them read books. You know, show them things or not take them to the zoo. You know, just try to give them a little culture. Just not show them there's more yeah, out here. Yeah, there's yeah. more out here than just the streets. You could be anything you want to be. Yeah. You just gotta put your mind to it and your heart in it. And if you know, as a parent. I, I protected my daughter. She wasn't yeah. in the crowd. She wasn't yeah. in that. She didn't do drugs. She didn't do none of that. You know. Right. Everybody don't do drugs, even though they in the hood. Right. You right. know. You could build yourself up. Go to a nice school. Get your your grades up, and you could do anything. You get scholarships. Churches give you scholarships and everything. You know. But just just be humble to yourself and your surroundings. But you know, when I got my house, no one was there to help me show me about my house. That nobody came to see me. You know, to look at the house with me. I got it on my own. No money down. And you know, look at me now. I'm doing good. I can't complain about anything. My kids are doing alright, even though I'm still in the hood. I could get out if I want, but I'm okay. I'm okay. It's alright with me. Right. But you know, you can, you can get anything in life. Just put your mind to it. That's all I gotta say. I'm saying how you how you accumulate your wisdom though, like where you my wisdom. Your... It just came from. Yeah. It was more. I was a boy street. It's because I seen my environment. I seen the drugs. This that and other. You seen I, all that. Yeah, like I the didn't drug know or about or drugs or till I got into that. middle school. Yeah. I never knew none of that. I didn't know about big sports and all that stuff. I didn't know none of that. And once somebody and it was up the street for me, and I never knew. One block up, and I never knew it. To someone I knew moved up that way, and I went there and I see it. I was surprised. I said, "Oh my God, my eyes got big." I said, "Oh, believe all this I'm seeing." But people don't have to do that. They don't have to lower their standards. They don't have to do do drugs and all that. Just do knowledge. Do do the good thing. Build yourself up. Make your own money. It's better to have your own instead of you know robbing and stealing and all that. Mm -hmm. It's not about all that. Right. Because I'm tired of us, my brothers going to jail, and you know, and we we only got depend on us to help raise the kids. Let let them have a two family home, not a one family home. Women, think about that. If your man is doing bad or doing this, that, another, try to encourage him to do something else. You know, if it takes two jobs to maintain stuff, do that. It's not that hard. You know, just put your mind to it. Think of your kids. Think of your future. You know, that's it. That's all I have to say. Thank you.